Welcome back. I'm starting a brand new series today and it's going to really benefit you and interest you. It's called Overcoming Death and Its Effect. And my first teaching today is what is death and how does it attack us? Just give you a little bit of uh, a background here. When I was in England, I was a head of department, head of science, and I was allowed to go for two weeks in a British hospital, and I loved it. I was at home in, in the hospital. I loved seeing the operations and so on. And the first operation that I saw was a lady who was cut all the way across the front and part way across the back, and they just opened her up. So I could see inside her body. And what do you see? You see organs. They were removing her stomach. That's, a, that's an organ. So... The, the fact that we are made physically of organs is important to understanding this study we're going to do today. The study is called, What is Death and How Does It Attack Us? What is it? As we grow older in our physical bodies, does this mean we're going to get frail and weak? Moses, at 120, testified his eye was not dim, nor his natural strength abated. Deuteronomy 34 verse 7. And didn't King David write a psalm, Psalm 103, saying that uh, he was able to renew our youth like the eagles? That was God renewing his youth, making him feel young again. Psalm 103 5. Isaiah prophesied in Isaiah 40 verse 29 to 31. He gives power to the faint and weary, and to him that has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall feebly stumble and fall. But those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength and power, and they shall run and not be weary, and walk and not faint or become tired. You can get a full text there in the notes. Couldn't we all benefit from some renewed energy? Hallelujah. Moses was as strong in his youth as he was at 120. See, no difference. He never got a loss of energy. David and Isaiah, all three of them, Moses, David and Isaiah, were under the old covenant. Isn't our new covenant supposed to be superior and more excellent than the old covenant? Hebrews 8 and verse 6. Now, I then made a discovery, and this, this really set me going on this study. The Apostle Paul made this discovery, and he wrote about it, in Romans chapter 7. Now he'd already written in Romans 6 verse 23 that the wages of sin is death. So if we sin it puts us under the influence of a spirit of death. Then in Romans 7 Paul wrote, I discern, I've realised that in my bodily organs there is a law at work against the law of my mind, I don't want it to happen, but it makes me a prisoner to the law of sin that dwells in my bodily organs. See, the apostle realised that it was in his bodily organs, his skin, skin's an, an organ, muscles, bones, heart, brain, stomachs and so on. It was in his bodily organs that the fruit of sin was manifesting. It was manifesting as sickness and weakness and and not working, just the ligaments not working, or the, the pump stop, and all sorts of things go wrong when this spirit of death causes its fruit to become apparent. In Romans 7 verse 5, sinful passions that were awakened by what the law makes sin were constantly working in our bodily organs. If it's not your eye, it's your ear. If it's not your ear, it's your shoulder. If it's not your shoulder, it's your knee constantly working in our bodily organs so that we bore or we bear the fruit of death. Romans 7, 5. Now these verses were a major wake-up call to me. Now I, I'm 80 this year. I'm in pretty good shape. But both my wife and I have been experiencing the fruit of death in our bodily organs. We've helped ourselves with essential oils. We, we, we uh, you know, we've rubbed on creams and taken supplements and so on. The world calls it growing old. But 
when I saw this in Romans 7, I realised that my experience of life, my experience of living in this body is not matching up to what the Bible says I should be living. Caleb, for example, at 80, he was an old man like was Moses, but he was fit at 80 and he said to Moses, give me Hebron, Joshua 14, 11 to 13. I'm as strong at 80 as I was at 40. So we've got some learning to do. We've got to realise that if our bodily organs are not doing as well as when we were in middle age or even younger, then something needs to change. What is our enemy? It's the fruit of death. Our enemy is a spirit of death. And because of sin in our past lives, or bloodline sin, we call it iniquities, the devil has searched out. He's done a study on us and he said, OK, there's a legal right and I'm going to attack. And that's what he does. He takes legal rights and he attacks our bodily organs. Don't think of death as just being in terms of physical death, where your heart stops beating or you stop breathing. The death is a spirit. It's a demon, a very powerful prince, one bent upon our destruction in order to cause us to die prematurely, especially if we're doing God's work. He wants to look for a legal way in which he can attack us in our physical bodies. And this spirit of death works with other demons like fear, infirmity and so on. So this is what we're going to be studying over the next few videos. I hope you'll stay with me because I'm going to show you that what the devil wants to do and attack us with the spirit of death, we can learn how to counter that and to avoid it. Interested? I'm sure you are. See you again next time.